Hey everyone, this is a smaller custom container ship that I finished putting together today. This is intended to be a feeder class container ship that would work in coastal regions and be very fast. This is intended to be more in line with the era of my city. So I think that the, the larger container ship, the first one that I did is a little bit older, maybe styled more like the times of today in real life, while my city itself is supposed to be in the near future. So this is a little bit more near future, just a, a design that I thought might make more sense, might be more efficient. It's uh, intended to be fuel cell powered and would only be able to do small to almost medium sized trips, you know, kind of ferrying stuff back and forth fa fairly quickly, but very efficiently. The idea with the forward superstructure is that it would actually contribute to aerodynamics that would improve the efficiency of this versus a rear superstructure sort of setup. So that breaks the wind basically for the for the ship and it helps to create a little bit of attached flow going around the containers themselves when there is a full load. And then on the back, around the back, I have just a couple of vertical cam effect or com effect, K-A-M-M -M if you want to look it up, spoiler veins to help steer the, the, uh, the airflow back together. And yeah, it's able to hold on to eight of my full-size containers and it's compatible with the standard system that I have. So this could be offloaded with my existing uh, ship to shore gantry crane. Those containers are the same ones that'll fit onto my trucks and onto my train. And I did put in a little bit of detailing inside of the, the bridge area, which is looking a little bit more like a, a cockpit almost. The idea is that this would be just so heavily automated and so reliant on technology, which would in, also have redundant systems. So it wouldn't be anything that people would need to worry about too much that uh, it wouldn't need a very large crew it's set up right now to look like it's in port so the, the folks in there don't need to be really doing much they're just waiting for their turn to get an offload the ship would have very advanced sensors and software on board it would actually be able to do instrument only and primarily instrument only docking maneuvers these little winglets on the sides of the superstructure would have lidar arrays and also cameras in the little domes there that would basically take the, the place of really wide extended horizontal ex extended bridges that ships have today for visual contact just wouldn't need that everything would be able to be done from the bridge from the interior itself with just looking at the the large screens in there so those would be able to see forward and back up on top of the bridge you have a couple of redundant uh, satcom uh, ray domes there uh, some people would say it's inspired by star destroyer bridges from star wars but the star wars star destroyer uh, bridge shield generators are actually inspired by real ships that have twin ray domes like this so that's very much from real life and i also have redundant radar bars up above and a handful of lights around the thing and being a uh, a an, an electric craft basically with its its fuel cells for power it would have very little in the way of exhaust it would let out mostly water and has just some auxiliary stuff that has a little bit of exhaust that can be given off but for the most part you know this is clean running of course energy is never free it costs energy and carbon and such to get these things charged up unless you go with huge solar arrays which probably by the time of of this thing still wouldn't be the most efficient way to go maybe they would use a lng for their primary charging and everything but yeah that is that i wanted to have a second container ship i had actually started trying to use this exact uh, hull previously and gave up on the idea and just kind of resurrected it recently so that I have something smaller and I can double berth and just have this kind of waiting for the, the bigger one to be offloaded. 
or or loaded either way around. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's done for now. It doesn't have full detailing on the interior, but I'm perfectly fine with that down on the the lower level. It has accommodation where I could add detail in the future, but nobody's ever going to see it anyway. So it's better to turn my attention towards something else, like maybe another ship. We'll see what. Uh, what inspiration hits me next time, but that's it for this look at this ship. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.